In this video, we're going to look at how to iterate over an array. Now, as many classes in Ruby are include that innumerable array, so let's let's do a RI on innumerable. Let me get rid of the fine there. You'll see our instance methods that come with it have the each in here. Uh, you have each with index, each slice. And then if we do an RI on array itself and go down here to its instance methods, it has its own each method in there. That's the specific each. So we know that we can iterate through that array. And what I mean by iteration is if we go in here and do our typical little integer array, we can throw in a block here with a uh, and an iterator. Let me get a one that's not going to conflict. And our little block just essentially prints out each of these as it iterates across the array. But of course, this block can always be, you know, much more complex. We could say something such as So that, that's a kind of contrived, I realize, but essentially what I did was I expanded our block instead of just a single line block, I did the do, and then I had our little iterator variable here, and I had a little test and said, hey, if a is equal to two, then print out it was a two and end it. So these blocks can be expanded up to whatever you want, entire programs with all kinds of method calls and everything in here to do uh, whatever you need to do across the iterator. The nice thing about an iterator is it lets you get to each element in sequence of that array. Now, the uh, one other method that, let's exit out of here, that array has that has to do with iteration is the reverse each. Where is it here? It's right here. Reverse each. So what that iterator does, if we go back in the IRB, let me get that array back. What we can do is type this in here. It'll go through the array from the last array element to the first array element. So if for some reason you want to iterate backwards through an array, this is the command that you'd use. So the ability to iterate through an array with just this simple structure here or this the block structure here is makes Ruby uh, very attractive compared to some other languages the hoops that you have to jump through using a for loop and an indexer and all that and find out the length and all those types of things here it's pretty much handled for you if you tried to accomplish this in even Java you're talking a, a bunch of setup work that has to be done setting up variables and getting some information and then iterating it backwards through a for loop or something along those lines. No, the new version of Java does have some more advanced iterative capabilities, but nowhere to this level.